Okay, let me test <coughs> the sound and video. Okay, let me test. Everything seems okay. Uh, good morning to everyone. I think I have not made video for a few days because I was busy. Um, let's see Bitcoin what is doing. Now, starting from the weekly, even the monthly. On the monthly, we have really nice green dot and uh, a signal, a signal, very bullish signal. Uh, of course, that's a very high time frame, but uh, we we have to keep in mind that we I think we should be overall bullish and don't become too bearish. Now let's see the weekly. On the weekly, we had a nice wave of the momentum up, and well, relative to the money flow, the money flow actually increased just a little bit. So there might be a new wave to the downside like that which I expect the money for to do something like that uh, which means yeah that we are going down uh, the next few days uh, of course this is not certain but the probability that I see that uh, everything depends on the momentum so we can um, basically stop here if we print a red dot and start uh, turning over to the downside uh, or we basically go sideways a little bit and try to go so everything depends uh, keep a close look on the dxy on the dollar index and on the stock market because uh, it would be key now on the daily we have a really good signal also um, money for going up this looks bullish to be honest and maybe I'll attempt uh, one position on the daily time frame and I, I, I want to see at least 20-30 momentum um, to go up and then basically uh, take profit let's see the 4 hour now the, the 4 hour is looking <laughs> exhausted and depleted uh, money flow is starts to go up. I think I would wait for uh, another wave to the downside. Hopefully there is uh, another wave, small wave to the downside on uh, four hour, even three hour. Three hour we have a green dot, but money flow is increasing, so I'm not sure if we're going to get this small wave to the downside. Well, money flow on the two hour is going up. Um, rapidly so I guess um, we're going up <coughs> of course one hour looks good to, to take it to the long side uh, I think my bias would be I guess to the long side right now uh, Fifteen minute looks a little bit, yeah, too far. So it's really interesting, but overall I think we should be bullish, seeing the one hour and the two hour. <coughs> and even the three hour is, you know, al although there is some red dot, it looks like the money flow is going up so it would be really tricky how to trade this um, maybe I want to see on the one hour um, coming a little bit lower to uh, 21.8 of course we may never get that um, pullback so I can walk mm. it may even be good area to walk from from here mm we're below the cloud on the 6 hour so for the time being I'm not going to long I want to see a little bit of pull back on the 1 hour um, not sure if this is going to to actually visualize in Bitcoin but yeah hmm. 
really interesting price action. Uh, let's see the CVD and and the open interest CVD. Uh, so if I go to the six hour. I see some kind of bullish divergence uh, on the CVD. This is bullish. Uh, let's see one hour. Uh, one hour looks a little bit like consolidating right now. So it would be tricky to pick this to the upside. Let's see our favorite indicator. The Google Trends Bitcoin price interest over time. Uh, it seems we are still bottoming here. So 2019, now it's 21. Um, and maybe if uh, we start going up on this, we will print the last wave to the downside. Who knows? Uh, but currently I'm monitoring also this one we almost hit a hundred here uh, 81 on 23rd of uh, okay where I can see the dates on 23rd no this is not meaningful Not at all, I think I'll be looking at the 12th uh, month. It's, it's, it is showing a better picture. We had this wall at, I think, 16 point something. We hit 100 and then we bumped a little bit on the interest. Um, this uh, move to the, to the upside, I believe, was here. Or was it actually at the beginning of January so this is actually at another wall here maybe we uh, maybe this is the bottom but uh, I expect uh, I think some uh, some wave again to the downside uh, yeah, here on this indicator it's uh, a little bit bearish right now crossing bearish but we are holding support here so okay seeing the the picture overall i am uh, i'm bullish and i'm considering uh, placing a long right now for a small scalp at least i don't like uh, that we need to maybe wait a little bit for this money flow to to go down for now i don't i'm, I'm not opening a trade although i'm really considering uh, a long <coughs> because we have this signal on the daily it looks really nice Okay, that's it from my side. I have nothing else to say. Um, I'll be monitoring the DXY also and the stock market. Uh, if the DXY starts going down here, actually this would be really bullish for Bitcoin. But we'll see. For the time being, uh, the DXY 4 hour is actually looking strong and bullish and I don't want to pick Bitcoin right now to the upside when DXI looks a little bit stronger than usually so that's it from my side have a good day